is Patrick, you're watching Tesla Trip, and I was very fortunate to attend the We Robot Robo Taxi event over in California. And I just wanted to show some highlights of the live stream that I did, along with a full unedited oh trip God. in the Cybercab from one neighborhood to the other at the event. It was, it was crazy, like, it was very secure. They had us pile in to a parking garage and check our ID on the way in, check our ID on the way out when we followed people, check our way in through security, check our way in at the desk. We had our ID checked many times. And then there was the VIPs, like, uh, I guess it's 2 Chain here. <laughs> and they had a special area. They were next to Elon on stage. We just were on another area. We saw Elon get into a cab and he unveiled the robo taxi and the the Robovan, the Robovan. It's spelled the same way. It carries up to 20 people or it could be filled with cargo. There were optimuses all over the place. <laughs> they were in, surrounded by several employees. Would you like a photo? <laughs> Just to kind of monitor them, make sure people weren't pushing them over or they weren't going to fall over or anything like that. They were remote puppeteers. Can you do rock, paper, scissors? <laughs> oh, of course. It's my favorite. Oh, okay. So somebody in a mocap suit was controlling them. Although it does seem like certain tasks, they could just kind of hit a button and it would do it, like certain dance moves or something. Because there was a lot of motions that were like an idle or repetitive, <laughs> like, like this right here. You saw him doing it multiple times. They'd mentioned it was a combination of AI and remote assistance. The voices were just straight up people talking, though. If you look at how fluid they are, the motion of them is really good. And over in the VIP area, they had the next generation hand with extra dexterity. And it was kind of eerie how well it moved. It was uh, really, really good. Now, the bartender robot, it was functional, but slow. And if you look at the event, it was just huge. Like, there was these four different areas. I was at the Tesla Theaters where I went in. I walked down to Metropolis and Westworld and then over to New York to catch a robo taxi ride. There were DJs everywhere, live music on every corner. It was a huge party. Lots of long lines for the pickup and drop off areas. Drones flying in the sky, creating images such as these ones right here. There were a lot of obstacles that were purposely running around on the road in front of the robo taxis, creating things to you know break and go around and avoid. And you could tell they were basically running the same version of F FSD that we already have, just a slightly more advanced one that didn't check for somebody in the driver's seat and simplified. So you basically had less controls. Here I'm walking on my way to the New York area and there was a bunch of Teslas doing an infinite light show. They must have scheduled them to go off over and over again throughout the entire night. When standing in line, I didn't even realize how many celebrities, definitely a lot of influencers and people from the Tesla community a lot of vehicles from the Peterson Museum, such as the Batmobile, Knight Rider was there, and some other vehicles that looked like they were inspiration for the design of the cyber cab. They keep calling it a robo taxi and a cyber cab. Lars, head engineer, he said that it could be called either or, and he joined us in line and talked to us for a bit, and then he got in a normal Tesla to go back because you they had 20 robo cabs and then, then they had 30 Tesla Model Ys and so they kept trying to get people to take the Model Ys and they just didn't want to do it so they offered to give somebody a ride with Lars in order to get them to take one of the Ys this is another obstacle Cybertruck full of zombies just a lot of randomness and craziness going on at this this big party yeah, zombies After waiting in line for an hour, I finally got to try out 
the cyber cab. There are butterfly doors that go up. All right. You just <laughs> oh, buckle your seatbelt. Thank you. It closes, no it's buttons crazy. anywhere, just a touch screen. Okay, once you uh, your seat, the door will close. There are no buttons on this door. <laughs> All right. Buckle seats and wait for doors to close. Select a destination and hit start. All right. Westworld. Start right. Oh, so the open the doors on the screen. It seems even bigger than the Cybertruck one, but probably because it's just a smaller vehicle. <laughs> Oh. Huh. That's interesting. These don't move. <laughs> Slow down because of people. <laughs> no steering wheel. Is there a brake? There's no brake, right? No brake. No, no brake. No accelerator. No nothing uh, oh, there's nothing behind us at all. So the, there's a whole bunch of Teslas doing a light show. <laughs> We're following that 13. This is the screen here. It has theater, games, map. Oh, yeah, it was, yeah the map. There's a Westworld map. We can stop right anytime. Oh, that's cool. So there is a stop. New York to Westworld shows how far we got to go and the map of things. Let's do theater. Watch Doom. Oh, Interstellar. Interstellar. Blade Runner. Oh, there's Games. the Roadster in space. Yeah, <laughs> standard. So it's it's doing good there's no markings on the road like there's no center line sample cars oh yeah we got a bunch of cars at an intersection we didn't hit the other cyber cab so that's a plus <laughs> Overall, it was a really cool ride, but not much different than what I'm doing in the Cybertruck right now. I had some fun interactions with Optimus. We got to play rock, paper, scissors at one point. I had some conversations. I couldn't get those all on video just because I had to use my hands and I didn't have a cameraman with me. There was no plus one to this uh, invite that I got for the event. Yeah, I've been holding the phone now for 163 minutes. <laughs> it's crazy. Optimus is not autonomous. There's somebody controlling him somewhere. I don't know where, but uh, there's a lot of them, not just one. There's, I, I don't know, there are uh, maybe six or eight of them. The ones that are dancing are autonomous. All right, uh, please like, share, subscribe. Thanks so much for watching. What did you guys think of the event? I mean, there's like, a hundred thousand videos out there there was at least a few thousand people at the event or at least in the section that i was in we, we thought about two thousand but it was probably more than that because they kind of piled people into multiple neighborhoods there was like a vip section and then there was the part that we were in by the, the theater Roptimuses were remotely puppeted but they're mainly showcasing the dexterity and the movement of the robots the ai part of it that needs to come later. They said it was a mix. I envisioned the way that it was done is they, they did have performance capture going on, but they also had certain like buttons that they could press that would do certain things. The dancing robots were programmed. It was obviously a walkie talkie or, you know, type situation with somebody puppeteering the, the optimuses. Do you think a lot of the controversy is 
well, they're trying to fool people because they're not autonomous robots. <laughs> and they never said the robots were ready. That's like a vision of the future, what things would be like. But the taxis, on the other hand, they were fully autonomous. And you could tell by watching them, they operate basically just like a slightly updated or manipulated version of the current firmware that's out right now. Because I'm driving the Cybertruck and it's using the latest build, the 12.5.5. And I'm looking at interventions like once every couple hours on my way from Wyoming to, to Vegas and to Vegas to LA. And I'm going back from LA to Vegas right now and I've had one intervention out of like three hours. So it's really, really good and that's all hands-free now. And you could tell it, when you got into the cyber cab, like it was kind of like trying to go around other parked vehicles at times to get to the point where it's supposed to stop. So it had certain criteria like, you know, it was geolocated on where to stop to pick people up and, you know, and basically when people buckled up, it would let you select on the screen where to go and anyways i think the robo taxis were they probably did have a fail safe where people could take over remotely kind of like um smart summon does but probably a back end somebody behind a curtain so they could take over if they needed to it went through areas with unmarked there was no lines or markings it was it was very impressive and it's gonna work i think uh i was kind of starting to doubt it for a while there because year after year elon says we're getting full self-driving, but this demo shows it can work. And the progression in just the past couple months, it looks like, yeah, safer than a human very soon. The interventions that I'm having to do now aren't usually critical. They're pretty much just preference so that other drivers aren't annoyed by it doing something slower than normal or slightly not normal. Like, the biggest one right now is turning lanes, which could cause an accident if it, it's in the wrong turning lane. But I'm sure that's something that could be figured out. They, they just gotta need to account for all the different variations of all images on the different turning lanes. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what you thought of the event. You can uh, please like, share, subscribe. Uh, you can follow me on X, I'm at Walking Crow. Thanks again for so much for watching. And if you wanna watch the full unedited three hour live stream it's available um, in the notes here below and you can get a feel for just how massive this event was it was just it felt huge and there were like djs everywhere and it was it was nice have to go for a turn around the block Ha, ha, ha.